Matt mentioned finished strong. End up pitching seven innings. It didn't look like he was going to come anywhere near that when that game began. Grounded a short. Valentin Devina, relay to Jaha, both of them. Yeah, baby. Not an easy ball with which to try and turn to, but the outstanding Brewer infield gets it done. Well, not many double play combinations are going to turn this one. Trinidad Hubbard with pretty good speed, a high chopper, and watch Vina how quick he is to get rid of the baseball. And they just nip Hubbard at first base. You know, you get spoiled here in Milwaukee watching these two guys. That is not a routine double play by any stretch of the imagination. But got out of it very quickly with grand slams in back to back games at Dodger Stadium earlier this year. There's a drive to right pretty well hit but it hangs up for Burnett's and it's a quick one two three inning for Jeff Juden despite the leadoff single. We played a half inning of baseball from County Stadium tonight Dodgers zero Brewers coming to bat. One ball one strike on Raul Mondesi. Zeal aboard at first to start the top of the second. Broken bat comebacker. Juden knocks it down to Cirillo to Jaha and they get Mondesi at the bag. My goodness, like a Pacheco machine. <laughs> Boy, good play all the way around. John Jaha did a nice job stretching and keeping his foot on the bag. And good heads up play by Jeff Cirillo. Ball hit up the middle. Your instincts are to head that way. He had to check his. Momentum and made a nice throw to first base. Watch Jaha. Yep, he's on the bag. Good strong arm by Cirillo. Roger Cedeno, the guy who was supposed to be the opening day center fielder, also banged up. That one's hit well to right. Burnett's back at the track, hauls it in. Zeal to third. Boy, Hollinsworth didn't miss that one by much. Well, looks like you're going to have to hit one pretty well to get it out of County Stadium tonight. Marquise Grissom hit one pretty well this time. I look like a home run off the bat, but it stayed in the ballpark. Jeremy Burnett didn't give up on it, and just in front of the fence makes the catch. First top of the second. Jammed him a little looper out to right. Vina back to make the catch. Look at Nando with the bat and with the glove here in the second. A uh, heck of a play by Fernando. The ball jams Canerco and. Looked like he was going to get him a base hit, but Fernando with a great play, good instincts, and a diving catch right in the webbing saves Juden the lead. Hey, Dodgers, we got a Fernando of our own over here, you know. Middle of the second, 1 0 Milwaukee. ERA. He's really pitched well over his career against his Dodger uniform. Fly ball to center field. Can of corn for Grissom. Side retired in the third. Nothing despite the one out single by Ramon Martinez to the bottom half of inning number three. Brewers lead the Dodgers one zip. Show three triples already. That ball does not look very big in that hand, does it? <laughs> oh man. He's holding the golf ball. 2 1 punch to the left side. Valentin Davina back to Jaha, not in time. Well, they'd pulled that one off. You got to check them for uh, some kind of superhuman qualities. Yeah, that was an impossible double play just to get the ball off. Vina did a nice job. And sometimes, you know, Fernando will make a play like that, and you wonder, you know, why the runner isn't able to get to him. But watch the way he jumps after he gets rid of the baseball. Out of the way, still makes a good throw. A lot of, a lot of second basemen will. The chances are they're going to make a bad throw when there's contact, but Fernando hardly ever gets hit. Always able to bounce himself. There goes Hollinsworth, and Canerco pops it up. Burnitz is there for it. No damage done in the fourth. The Nukester strands a pair. That's four left stranded by Jude through three and a half. Still one nothing Brewers. Bunt play stays on. This time Martinez gets it down. Throw to first with Vina covering. They still get the out. My goodness. All right, nice play by Fernando. An easy one to four in the scorebook, but it certainly isn't that easy. Watch Fernando have to adjust on this throw from Juden. Not exactly sure what happened on this throw, but it gets away from him, and Fernando's got to adjust. Makes the play. That's an easy out. 
That's how his second baseman gets kicked in the head right there. Actually, he tagged the bag with his hip. Don Rowe, the Brewers pitching coach. Sure, counting pitches on Jeff Juden tonight, like he does every night. 2-2. Two, two. He went around, baby, believe it. Hubbard tried to check the swing, but his ex-minor league teammate gets the better of him this time. A run in the Dodger fifth, however. They're on the board, middle of the fifth, tied one apiece. <laughs> oh, man. Called strike three right on the outside corner. Piazza is going to sit down. Boy, Juden. Three straight pitches to Mike Piazza. All fastballs right on the inside corner. Boy, Piazza, good fastball hitter. And Juden able to get him. They'll bring up Todd Zeal. Not only a big hit to score a run, but even an extra base hit tonight. Ground ball in the hole. There's going to be a play. Burnett's coming up. He's going to make the throw. And Jesse Levis waiting for him at home plate. <laughs> Jeremy Burnett. It looked like a sure run for the Dodgers. Todd Zeal with pretty good leg speed, but Burnett makes the throw, and Jesse with the tag. Great throw by Burnett. Got it there in an awful hurry. Levis was waiting for him so long. Levis was waiting for Zeal so long. Look at this. Follow him around. See what he eats. Tag. You're out. Well, we'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Brewers up by four. Brewers home games. Brewers treat seats at Target. Expect more. Pay less. Brewers on top of the Dodgers 5-1 to one as Jeff Juden opens the seventh. Paul Canerco batting. Hits a two-hopper to Cirillo with third. One away. Thomas Howard brought over as a free agent last winter. The 247 with three home runs for the Astros last year. Little number to the left side. Cirillo has just one play. That's at first, and he gets Howard at the bat. A good pitch by Juden. Thomas Howard, a pretty good fastball hitter. Looking for something to drive, and Juden changes speeds on him. Looked like a split-fingered fastball. Little number out in front. Good play by Cirillo. Second baseman, Harry Young. At Denver while with the Rockies. No longer playing half his games at Coors Field these days. Here he grounds to Cirillo at third, who gets him at first. Juden strands another base runner here in the seventh to the seventh inning stretch at County Stadium tonight. Brewers on top of the Dodgers, five to one. Run in here on the Dodger home run by Mike Piazza. Swinging. Five strikeouts for Nuke Lelouch Juden. And they love him here at County Stadium. We go to the bottom of the eighth tonight. Brewers on top, five to two. It hasn't come easy for Juden. He's had to deal with at least one base runner in each of the eight innings that he's completed so far tonight. Got him swinging. Strikeout number five for Juden. Strikeout number six for Juden. <laughs> I'll be all right. You can see Jesse sitting up on the outside corner. Slider, swing and a miss. Boy, he has thrown some good pitches when he's needed them tonight. Vizcaino now. Jose Vizcaino is one for two with a walk. There's a line shot sinking in left center. Grissom is there for it. Marquise covering some ground in center field. Well, you play the hitters that are at the plate. Marquise knows that Vizcaino doesn't have power to hit it over his head. He's able to cheat in a little bit. You cheat in and you move over toward left. Vizcaino likes to go the other way and it pays off. A pinch hitter here in the nine hole. Ex-Yankee Matt Luke. Luke came through with his first major league extra base hit and RBI Sunday at Chicago. A longtime Yankee minor league prospect. A swing and a miss.
Round it a second, this should do it. Vignette at Yaha, the Brewers have won five in a row, and in doing so, can add their name to the list of teams who can boast a complete game pitching performance this year. Juden goes the distance, limits the Dodgers to just the two runs, and the Brewers coast to a 5-2 to two victory tonight. Stick around. We'll be back with more right after this. Jeff Juden was outstanding as a starting pitcher, and we had some, see the salami? <laughs> Salami sandwich. I'm going to kill this as With soon as we're pickle, off the yeah, air. Another one. We had uh, a grand slam tonight as well by John Jaha, his fifth career, and that ties him with Cecil Cooper for the most by a brewer ever. That was really all the offense that Jeff Juden would need tonight as we take a look at some of John Jaha's heroics. Speaking of Salami. Well, it happened in the fourth inning with two outs. It looked like Martinez was going to get off the hook, but Jaha able to punch one right inside the foul pole. And that was a big, big base hit for Milwaukee. Jeff Juden, a co-player of the game tonight. You can't really pick one over the other. Juden was magnificent, allows just the two runs on nine hits, struck out six, walked only one. John Jaha and Jeff Juden are heroes tonight as the Brewers run their winning streak to five and remain atop the pack in the National League Central. Five to two, the final tonight. Stay with us. Bill and I return. We'll kill the salami sandwich and be back for more right after this.